What's up guys, uh, some of you have asked me to um, show you my loadouts that I've been using so I thought I'd make a quick video on that so let's just jump straight into it. Um, TDM, basically hardcore or core, doesn't matter, I'm using support streaks so it doesn't matter if they kill me. It's basically all my loadouts, they carry the same sort of theme, dead silence, amplify, most of them have sit rep. They all have ready up because I like to sprint around the map. I'm not a camper. I don't hide in the corner. Um, sit wrap's really good because it shows you things like sentry guns, IEDs, IMSs. It basically all the equipment comes up. You see a camper hiding in the map, hiding with IEDs or motion sensors. You know he's there. Um, Dead silence, obviously, it makes you harder to detect. Um, if they use an amplifier, they can still hear you, though. You know, um, turtle beaches or something. Um, you basically, you always want to use sleight of hand if you can. Just makes that reload time a lot less. Um, you know, if you're in a gunfight or something and you got to stop to reload, and well, it could be the the savior between life and death. Um, Ripper, basically the same, I've just switched out, um, what was it, Blind Eye for Marathon, um, well, Vector, I'm just trying to show you ones that I really use, the Helo Pilot, I use that a lot, but this is one of my favourites, um, I, I've switched out Blind Eye for Hardline, just makes that one less kill to get. Um, and with the vector, if you're running on core with the silencer, you, you tend to run out of ammo pretty quick. So, um, my gold knife and guns. Um, this is this is the setup I've been using recently. Um, the rapid fire on the MTAR really makes a difference. It just gets those couple of bullets out there really quick, and everyone likes to use the MTAR now. So. This enables me to outgun them just that bit quicker. Now, uh, if everyone's been watching Drifter, he um, he did a video about how um, the silencer hit markers seem to be registering a bit quicker, and it's kind of true. So give it a try. Um, always got the foregrip on there though for the recoil. Um, so the perks pretty much the same as what they were before, except I need the extra attachment, so that's why that's in there. Um, strike packages. If you take off the the third kill slot, um, it, it gives you the bonus perks at 8 instead of 11, I think it is. Or uh, Actually, that changes depending on what perks you use, the, um, the, the value of it. Um, but yeah, always take that third one off and you'll get three or however many bonus ones you put in there earlier. Just uh, makes sense anyway. Um, Anti-camper, this is a big one. People camp everywhere and uh, they, they tend to camp with thermal sites or something. So I tend to go with incog, always dead silence and amplify. Campers like to hide with IEDs, IMSs, things like that using sit rep you're going to be able to see it um, always going to have to have either a tactical or a lethal it doesn't really matter which one you can use the nine bang fully charge it for an EMP um, I like the sticky bombs though. I like a bit of a, a um, you know you can get it in there and stick it to them <laughs> um, tracker finder that's a big one too you know um, not everyone uses incog because it costs three points so um, they're, they're pretty much always gonna gonna show up on the tracker site. Um, USR, I'm a big fan of the sniping in this game. The the code is really good for uh, quick scoping. Um, however, if you're in core, you're gonna need to have chrome um, barrels or um, FMJ armor piercing rounds. It just, you, ne you need that bit of extra damage in core. Um, I find getting a lot of hit markers when I was doing the no attachments. Um, the gold PDW is great. I love it. it it's it's so OP. Um, perks, 
pretty... Oh, yeah, we're getting a little bit different here, but this is a specialty class. Sniping, it's, um, you, you're not running and gunning here. You've got a sniper rifle and a bolt action at that, so, um, ready up because I, I need that couple of quick seconds after the sprint out time. Um, reflex in case I'm reloading, just switch up to a pistol and spray them. Um, dead silence so I can sneak around. Incog's a big one. Um, if you're being a sniper and you want to be a little bit um, cautious and you know and not so easy to spot, Incog's a big one. Um, it, it saves them with the call outs. You know the the uh, enemy team they if they spot you they don't give you position away on the map. Um, focus obviously reduces sway, but where where I use this perk comes into an advantage is when someone's shooting you you got that couple of seconds to get a shot off before you're dead so you do have a chance to kill them first and that's when you get the oh what the fuck yeah i love that um what's another one of my favorites um yeah that's pretty much it the ripper i i used to love this class as it had marathon on it but i'm not so much anymore i've gone to more towards the um the MTAR and the USR, they're, they're two of my favourites at the moment. So, um, hope this video was a bit of help to you, and um, get back to me if you need to know anything more. Thanks.